Uh, do you think that this affects J. Cole standing as top three, big three of the generation? If so, who do you think replaces him? I wouldn't have put him there anyways, but oh sure. Okay. Um, That's a fact. <laughs> I'm so replacing him with Draco the ruler. Oh shit. By the way, and you guys kind of uh, that's trying to think about who's like a big, so who what, I mean for a for a reason. What years though, we going? Like 2000, uh, and, I mean, well, 2000 I'd say over the past 15, 20 years, maybe, like yeah. probably last 10 years. I mean, maybe. You have to do <sighs> 10 to 12. I guess yeah. you, I guess if you hit why you had to put future as even though I, per, I I never got like the future I, hype I, or Playboy Cardi hype, I never mm-hmm. got these hype. Bro, stuff, so. I, I, like in high school, I was never a Walker guy. Like like that that I whole style. Walker, like like I like I, I like getting like, I like the hype music. Like I like hype, but yeah. at the same time, when it misses a bunch of bars Young and just Rocko lyrics or whatever, yeah, it's, it's just it? like uh, <laughs> I think future though, based off of not even really. I think that's why he's probably excluded from it because his style is much different than these other guys. Yeah, um, all, all the people so copying him. Yeah, so though? it feels weird. Yeah, it's the influence on his consistency though. Well, no, it's about it. He's in there. And, oh and, yeah, you and, it, and it's influence over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, they all there. copy him. I wouldn't put him there. He's but he deserves. He's probably he's earned it. This is this is might be this might be a crazy. This might be a crazy comparison, so y'all can correct me. But if I had to honestly pick somebody that was the closest to Lil Wayne from oh, as far okay. as an influence standpoint, because I because yeah, and I know y'all remember not, not this when we were oh, kids. When we, we, when we were kids, there was imminent. I mean, there was Lil Wayne, and then he dropped. You know, like I would say, like right around Carter Three or maybe right before that, and then all of a sudden, literally Probably. anybody that was a rapper. If they were coming out, had to sound like bro. Like they, they had, had a exactly mumble. Like they had bro. a People fucking forget though, wine. Yeah. Future at a point in time, if you didn't have Future on your song, you weren't getting spins. Yeah, Future. <laughs> yeah. But listen, it's I, probably I, like an I'm, absolute I'm, mistake. No, 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 listen. <laughs> listen, there's a point in time, but if you were making rap music, you and you didn't have Future on the track, you weren't getting spins, bro. Like future sure, had the there's people doing game with the Locked same way in the early 2000s. This, this motherfucker Walker was the same way in the 2010s. Okay, okay but future but, but, came after. But future, future came after that. No, and yeah. Waka Flocka barely had any albums do numbers. Lil John and East Side Boys barely had anybody do. It. Future, I think T Pain's the closer comparison. Whoa. Yeah, T Pain is definitely a better comparison. Yeah, he had the consi- I'm his, just going through all the names. His consistency wasn't even the same as Walk. Well, I mean, a uh, future. And, future, I'll give a future. And what? Know, and if you want to say Boosie, and what you're talking about though, like I don't actually agree with what you're saying no. when it as it pertains to future. But if you flip that and you apply it to T Pain, there actually was a hundred percent of time when almost every song that was a hit in that T-Pain genre in that had T Pain on the hook or something along those lines. Of future, bro. Um, bro, I mean, I, I, he's got, he has he's crazy got, amount of albums. But, but that got bro bangers what's that bro, mean though bo- you, bangers, you made bro. a different claim you said people weren't getting spins if they didn't have future on their album if you didn't have a future, so feature, you weren't getting spins just like at a yeah, point i don't know how we didn't have Lil Wayne, that's a wild you, have Drake, stand, you weren't getting spins bro on the radio it just I, wasn't so, what it was. so how would you suggest that we quantify that so should we look at the what year would you say we look at the hits 2015 for, and it's going to be all actually, future or mostly future just or a lot of just do this just do this yeah yeah go ahead future uh uh songs from the 210s uh future was featured on no, well, that's just gonna show me a bunch okay, of songs that he was on. Just look at 2015, like like top top. And you're gonna look, and you're gonna be like, damn, there's so, a lot like, of bangers. Like like, like honestly, you know like you, you mentioned Boozy. I, I agree with that. You mentioned okay. Boozy outside of the Southeast. I don't know if Boozy's really up there for people. Like like I I, I there's gonna be people that do, but yeah. I, it's just again like a lot Bro, of it's I culture. Like a lot of it's in regional. Chicago that didn't even know who the fuck Meek Mill was or Rick I'll Ross say, or I'll say though Boozy so. When you're saying top when, three, that's when wild. I li- when I, li- I love Boozy. When, like- I, when I lived in Indianapolis and I lived in a pretty dominant, uh, like an urban area, a lot of black people and a lot of people that were playing fucking Boosie in their car. That's yeah. all, all I have to say. And and Waka, by the way. It was that time. So when yeah. I was in high school, Waka was really coming to prominence. And uh, <laughs> I would say like, lit- and this was actually, an in- it was interesting because I didn't experience this even being here. But when you heard people playing music, I'm not even bullshitting. 80% chance yeah, right. it was, it was boozy. Boozy, yeah. I'm not even especially bullshit. independent. And this is, but, by the way, this uh, is Indianapolis. This is not but, that far from uh, Chicago. No, you're right. And Boosie, motherfuckers boozy. were playing. But, uh, he was probably uh, in prison look, at the time. Look, look, yeah, look, me yeah, in high boozy, school, Boosie and Webby, I mean, shit, you remember the locker room. Boosie and Webby was like, that's what we played, especially Rod or Derek. Like, that's what we played. Yeah. So like like I I just don't know how many people put them in the top three of the era. That's, yeah. No. So music doesn't wild. travel the same. So I had cousins yeah. in Chicago when I would ask them about artists that we were listening to down here. Right. So I'll say this. 
when I when I first heard Future, I asked them about Future. They didn't know about him, right? Yeah. But when I asked them about him the next year, they knew about him. And there's other artists that they just from the south they just didn't know. Like they didn't know Boosie. Right? How, how did Plies so, travel? This is on my dad's side too, by the way. Uh, but, yeah. it wasn't really. Uh, Plies was kind of already when I lived there. I think he was already on kind of the downturn. Yeah. Um, we were getting into like whatever album that is. With, where, he's in, like, where he's wearing the red hat and it's my pants hang low. I think we were already past that by the time. Oh, so we were already past all of his like classics. See, like so, like who like, hotter than me? See, I got a but, question for the stream. But, but, but see, like like yeah, like Plies to me is like like one of those like like I would love to hear. I don't know if you ever get like 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 a truth tell all, but like how the industry that kind of tries to change rappers. Because if you if you listen to Plies when it was Fort Myers Plies, mm -hmm. right? It was a completely different flow, different. A uh, rhythm, uh, uh, as far as like cadence, the, uh, the the way that like like he wound up just becoming a screamer and a hype man mm. rather than an actual rapper. And I feel like those those early albums were just yeah. more of, of like down here. It was completely different. I really didn't get much of it. I mean, we don't have to make an applies conversation, no, just, but at least I don't know <laughs> if I'm going back far enough. But like the album where he had Miss Pretty Pussy and like Take Off and shit like that. That would probably be around the time like, I started to know about uh, Plies. So that was before his mainstream. Like, bid long sure. pl so, Plies to me is like best Plies. So my aunt, yeah, Bushes. Sure the same time. Yeah, Bushes. Yeah. Yeah. Plies, yeah. Plies, it's actually before Bushes. Bushes, he was already mainstream. Like, that Plies, was like, uh, 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 fuck. That was out. He had ski. It was one of the first two albums mm -hmm. where he had Ski Mask on the front. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. No, it was the but, first one. Um, yeah. He was going fucking crazy. He was, it was the first one. My, my aunt that was, was in the club with him when he did his release. Bro, his climb was wild. For that video, Shoddy. Yeah. So the thing, so it applies, man, like, so the problem, so why he changed is because with applies, he was hanging out with like dudes who were really like doing crime. You know what I'm saying? Well, supposedly applies was already always and his brother. Was, his brother was a criminal. He was a church was. boy. He was a grandma. So he, he went to, uh, did he go to you? No, he, he, no, he went, he went, no, he went to Miami, Ohio as a receiver oh, five, five, dropped and out, then dropped out after Fuck his first staff. year. Yeah, but no, no, no. I thought he turned. I, no, I thought he said he turned right. it down the scholarship. But he played. I, I saw. I saw him on the, like on the thing. But nice. and then he came yeah. back. And again, his brother was the one that was in prison. And a lot so of kind of selling his stories. It was a lot kind of like his brother. His yeah, brother was a partner, which is great. Yeah, that's fair. So, so what he ended up doing was he hung out. He started linking up with some dudes who were doing some real uh, street shit. He ended up falling out with those dudes. Right. So mm -hmm. he couldn't stay in his area no more. He had to basically, you know, change his lifestyle around. And once he did that, that's when you really saw his music change. Mm. But it's because he couldn't keep that street image anymore. Yeah. Like when he was in Fort Myers doing shows, he would have these same dudes he was running with pull up to his shows and try him at his shows. Yeah. He I think it's kind it of up on video. He did kind of become a little bit of a gimmick. So yeah, definitely yeah, exactly. that was my issue. I, I just want to, I, the Plies conversation is interesting. I wouldn't mind talking about it at another point. So but I, I want to bring it back to the big three situation. Yeah. Who you think <laughs> might replace it? Well, I mean, I, love the conversation but i don't know if all you guys answered like i said i would probably without thinking about it too too much i, I would have to go future but there may be somebody else that fits the bill a little bit more so mm -hmm. i'm just curious if kanye is not in that kanye is an interesting thing. one if, if, if two chains in there two chains would have done about? more like, continued you know, i think two chains would have been in that music you gotta give i think future if you want to go hits i mean migos kind of just fell off so yeah i gotta just i think future's kind of the that's the one yeah and obvious one which is interesting because he's kind of he's involved in a way because mm -hmm. the disc came say, out on his album i would probably though but i wonder if that was intentional in a way and and again impact we're talking about like like impact more than what you love because like uh, how much of music today is really influenced by what future brought to the table what about young thug though not over future in my opinion see because here's yeah. what i'm thinking about young thug about you got, like, the dudes like lil nar mm -hmm. lil uzi yeah. You got Lil Pump. You got all those kind of dudes. Yeah, but they would all say they're in Lil Wayne by Future too, or Wayne and Future. Yeah, I think would be there. Yeah, that, but them niggas ain't. Yeah, but young, young, like Future. Young Thug, not young Thug's influenced by Future. Like future. That's the thing. Like Young that Thug's sound is influenced by Future. That's and true. if if Lil Uzi or those guys were to say that they were influenced by Future, it wouldn't mean that they can't be more influenced. They're also influenced by Young Thug. Yeah. In those cases you brought up, I agree. Like Lil Uzi Vert. Trippy red, like those guys maybe are because they're more experimental with their voice. Maybe they are more Thugga influenced babies. by Thugga. But um, yeah. but yeah, I mean there's a ton of guys, and no, he just I, I think he just for a period started to change rap music, yeah. so had the sound of it. And I think if you have that kind of impact, like a similar impact to like another reason why I to uh make an analogy, but why I think Steph Curry gets played so high, like an all-time discussion, is because he literally changed the game that he played. So it's like that has to matter for something, in my opinion. So can, um, can I ask? Uh, let's not get too no, yeah, no, too much. No, because because yeah. like because like, I always argue this with with like with like with Wayne and shit. Like, yeah. how much of it 
should how much credit should we give to the producers that don't really get the credit as much credit like metro like a lot of it is metro and then who was yeah. who was futures producer that got they got Zaytoven. locked up uh, i don't know if it's no, no, it no, esco was, esco yeah. like 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 early future with esco like, yeah, like i'm a future fan but like 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 a lot of like a lot of it just like with curry it took mark jackson to kind of sure. Bring this in the Steph Curry. I mean, then uh, Kerr kind of allow the style, or it doesn't happen without the beats, without the production. A lot of yeah. it isn't as catchy, isn't as good. Yeah, but well, obviously we go with the rapper who's the. So well, no, just, no, no, not necessarily. I think it's up to them to build their catalog as well. So right. Metro Boomin is a good example. I think he is somebody that is now putting himself in a position to be considered like possible best producer in the in uh, there were rap. Dre in the, I yeah. mean he's because he didn't just rest on his laurels there and like oh I'm just gonna make beats for fucking thug and uh uh future he's done whole albums with 21 Savage which have been in my opinion 21 Savage his best work has been with Metro Boomin Metro Boomin just released an album the heroes and villains which did really good yeah. um yeah. so I think that it's just up to them to take that kind of exposure that they get um Alchemist is another one. He's another producer I can think of that um, it definitely has made beat, beats for people that they've taken went crazy with, but he's over time built up his catalog to where he's undeniable. If you're a hip hop fan and you're really like really into hip hop and you follow it, then you definitely know who Alchemist is. Yeah. You probably listen to his fucking beat tapes at this point. I mean, he's incredible. So, um, I do think it's a little bit harder just because they're not front facing, but that's kind of just what it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you're not front facing, so you're not at you're not ingratiating yourself with fans at shows as much. What's his you name? Know, was a like DJ uh, was a producer before the, the one dude is famous now, uh, Jack Harlow. He used to make beats and shit like yeah. that. Uh, that's how well, I mean, but it. we're not talking about <laughs> producers changing what they do. We're talking about producers that like getting credit for being like a producer and oh, being yeah, great. Saying, Jack yeah. Harlow, no one knew who the fuck he was. <laughs> yeah, no, he great point. Some of the greatest fucking beats. You know, <laughs> yeah, great point. Yeah, he I didn't even know one track. Beats. Motherfucker's famous. Yeah, you know, he's like one. Per this is a rapper, but uh, somebody that was really carving a name out for themselves doing this was Mac Miller. Yep, Mac Miller uh, was kind. Of, he was creating a whole nother persona, doing beats, and uh, was it was really interesting. Take it way too soon, brother. Yeah, little Chief Neef. That's how he's resurrected his career. You're right, Chief Keef, definitely Being a producer, definitely. man. And his last, his last album. I don't know if you listened to. Uh, I think it's Dirty right. Nachos came out. Yeah, it's actually it's pretty fun. Where I went yeah. to college in West Virginia, so close to uh, Pittsburgh, and a lot of people were like Pittsburgh trans like transplants there. Yeah, and bro, like Mac Miller was huge to where there was like a. Uh, the frat like, Mac, Dill, of, Mac Miller Club, like like bro, like 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 <laughs> like the DJ was a part of like that frat or whatever, and like Mac Miller came did like a little private thing there. And that's dope. Yeah, this yeah. was like right before he blew. blew no, he, he was cool. He was, yeah, I, I mean, I don't, I try not to throw the word around too much, but he was somebody I think was a genius, to be honest. And music. Oh my God. Uh, now, I think sometimes so genius good, isn't dude. just like bestowed upon people. It's like, it, sometimes it is like an intellect thing. I think for him, he won was just a crazy worker like really loved it yeah. like when you listen to uh, i think it was harry F larry fishburne was his uh, producer name i think <laughs> when you listen to like where he took that it was in like he started produce on his albums more it was just obvious that his the reverence that he had for hip-hop and that's something that I, I always i'm a sucker for that you know what I mean? way like, too soon, man. i love hip-hop so much that when the when i where there's a rapper that loves it it's just like that with anything like a football player you love football when you see a football player that really genuinely Passion, loves football you yeah. appreciate it and it's not just something that i'm doing this because i can make money doing yep. it. wrestlers you see wrestlers that are like oh you can tell this motherfucker Kobe, was a fan when he was a fucking kid Sure, Jake Paul. Hey, yeah. He's passionate. Uh, no, hey. you mean Logan Paul? Uh, no, Logan yeah, Paul. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. My bad. I didn't mean disrespect. Well, we were talking Logan about Jake Paul earlier. No, they're both pussies, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> bro. Logan's doing his thing, man. Hey, hey, uh, hey him, him throw that one where they are on both sides and jump the met. Yeah, and that's one of the craziest things, bro. You're jumping, shame. bro. Yeah, yeah him and Ricky bro. That ribs. was wild. Broke all his ribs, bro. Just think about that. Yeah, yeah. Then then wrestled and like honestly, like. Like uh, I, I don't know if we're when we're I don't know what we're no, doing. So I we're about to move on to the next thing. Uh, I just like 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 with like that WrestleMania. Like I just uh, it's interesting to see where they're going, and I I, I guess see where like within the next five years, like Logan actually getting like maybe a title shot. Well, he like, already does have a title. Yo, know, yeah, but but I'm, I'm yeah. saying the the universal the the yeah. universal belt where it's really? like because like he could be the face of, of wrestling in the future. Like he takes it that seriously. Yeah. He plays the the hero and and heel both really well. Bro, the first time ever that they have an advertisement in the ring in his prime, like, yeah. like, like he is, yeah. like, and he has committed fully to it, where you gotta respect. It. To I don't think we've seen him play a hero though. though. To be honest, you said he played a hero well. well at least we haven't seen uh, him in wrestling. Right, right, right now, I'm saying he, oh, he's baby, I'm saying baby face, baby face, face, not, not you know, no, he's not baby face. Right now, but I, the crowd, the crowd loves him right now. Like I don't think they do. I think they hate him. But so, that's a good thing in wrestling. That's a good thing if you can make if crowd hates you. That's awesome. Yeah, he's gonna. Get so for example, he was on the.